It is a landscape devastated on a scale Australia has never before witnessed. Where the fires have passed, the flames have consumed almost everything in their path. And lucky are those to have survived without loss. In the small town of Malakuta, residents return to their homes to find nothing left to salvage. All of my possessions have been totally incinerated. Every, there is just simply nothing left, nothing at all, except that. There is now a brief lull in the winds that whipped up this firestorm that sent thousands of residents fleeing for their lives and holidaymakers trapped on the coast to shelter at sea. Firefighters have been reinforced by the military to bring emergency supplies to ravaged communities and to help count the cost in a toll of death expected to rise. Today is a day where it's safe to do so that our police and emergency services can actually go through the properties that have been lost uh, and, and in some circumstances make some very, very um, hor horrible findings. Many of those who died had stayed behind in a doomed mission to protect homes and businesses. The body of farmer Patrick Solway was found close to that of his father. Those who survived escaped often in the nick of time. You could hear the trees like banging, watching your stuff burn, slash trying to save what you could, and you know, that's all you could do. For now in the towns, the fires only smolder, but in the hills they still rage. And the calmer weather that has allowed Australia to take stock of this catastrophe may be only a brief reprieve. There is every potential that the conditions on Saturday will be as bad or worse than we saw uh, yesterday. Um, the winds are expected to be very strong, back to 40 plus degrees temperatures. Um, we've got a lot of fire in the landscape that we will not contain. Searing heat in a country left tinder dry by years of drought. Fire has tested Australia to destruction. John Ray, ITV News.